Okay, so um, <clears throat> this will be the first video for this. I meant to do one yesterday. Um, I didn't do one yesterday because uh, it doesn't really matter. I don't. Have, <laughs> no one watching that video anyway. But um, but basically, um, Alibaba, right? So I just want to kind of go into Alibaba really quick and kind of show what I noticed, what I like, and then we'll go from there. So Alibaba, is, I'm up 30, I think I'm up 33%. I don't really remember, it doesn't really matter. But I'm up, there it is, Alibaba. So two days ago, or three days ago, there was an article that was released. I don't usually buy off of news, which is the reason why I missed all the real money to be made on this particular stock. And I could have bought a shorter contract, but I didn't want to uh, put myself in that high risk, especially when I can ride the wave up. Um, so I'll kind of show you guys what I'm looking at as far as Alibaba goes. And I guess like um, why I'm getting out now. I'm I'm good for like 30%. Like anytime I can get between 25 and 50%, I'm out. You know, I'm not looking for anything higher than that. Um, that's my, my risk tolerance, to be honest with you, is 10%. So if I see 15% in the same day, 10% the same day, I might even get out that same day. I may not even hold for the next couple of days. I don't typically want to ride a wave up like, oh, you should have held for whatever amount of time. Like I can care less. I'm in and I'm out. I'm on to the next stock. There are thousand reasons to be in alibaba right now a thousand of them um but i'm going to show you what i see on alibaba uh obviously this is going to be a public video so almost the entire world can see it if they watch it but we'll talk about alibaba really quick so a couple of days ago alibaba had news around this time that arkk um i think her name is wood um it's one of the investors there she and it was a few other investors they were showing how they were literally buying and holding Alibaba, like buying millions of dollars worth of Alibaba and just holding it. Like at, at no point did they feel that there is no reason to have it, right? So, and it made sense. Why not buy it here? And they were saying, look, buy more and more and more and more and more. Just keep on buying Alibaba. Just keep on buying it until it, until it rebounds. When Alibaba rebounds, it's not gonna rebound to like 150, like it's not, it, right now it's at 162. So it's not gonna rebound to like 170, 175. It's gonna rebound and it's gonna rebound to like 200, right? So depending on where you are, how long your contract is and timing when you buy it will determine how much money you actually make. In this particular stock here, this has endless potential, endless potential. One that I bought because I always like to give myself a little bit of time. I'll show you. It was the 19th of November at 200. 200. I don't need anything more than this because this is all I believe is going to happen. I bought it yesterday and I'm up. It doesn't really matter how up I am, as long as I'm up. This has so much potential. So much potential because it's going to rebound. Right? And if you notice, when I bought it, I bought it for yesterday. I bought it for $92, I think it was. So let's look at it really quick. I think yesterday, low, yesterday closed at 87 but I bought it at 92 so even today, if you would have bought today, knowing that it was going to go up a dollar, so you could have bought like right up on the money, your contract, oh, okay, whatever. Uh, if you bought right up on the money, you were doing yourself a service. And also bought another one. So you'll see the other one on this particular account. I just bought it with like $23 just to play around with it. But... That was just to have fun. So we'll look at it really quick. So if you knew, if you knew, like, hey, this thing is going to pass 160, that's $300. The problem is I'm not the type of person that's going to think that. You know, it closed, they say, 155. You bought the 155 one, you doubled your money. I'm not going to think that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way out to the 19.
and I bought it on a different account, so it's not going to show on here, but we'll talk about it. Has to make the most sense in order for me to buy it. So slow when I'm recording. Come on. All right, there we go. All right, so here we are. Up 38%, up $30. I'm out. I don't need to go more than this. Now, look, is it going to keep on going? Yeah, probably. You're right. You know what I mean? But... Where I'm at right now, I'm what I would consider comfortable. I'm okay. I I know how to read the stocks well enough to know that I can get into another stock, get into another option, do this again. I don't have to ride the wave up. I don't have to be the the guy that's right about the three thousand dollar stock. I'm a, I'm gonna be right about the thirty to forty percent, and I'm out. Look at that, forty two percent. Somewhere between thirty and fifty percent is all I'm looking for. Once I gather my 30 to 50%, I'm done. My 50%, that's it. Because if I do, let's say $100, right? This is only 100 bucks, right? But this is the farthest option I would have bought. All the other options that I explained to other people were any of these. Anything less than, anything at this time, less than $200. And if you notice, here's an option that made $135. Here's an option that made almost $200 so far, $200 here. So you got $125, $175, $250, let's just say that's kind of where it's at, right? $200, right? See, all these options made money, hundreds of dollars. So it's not like one option was going to make more money than the other. They're all making money. They're all making money. They're all going up. Alibaba makes sense. Why not? So what did I see in Alibaba to make me say, this is what I want to buy? All right. So there's another buy opportunity coming. So I'm not saying that Alibaba is skyrocketing and you missed out. So there's still another buy opportunity. So when I look at Alibaba's top chart, what I'm looking for is this. I'm kind of show you. I'm looking for what is the current trend. One thing I'll notice is that the downtrend, it says sell. Just ignore that. My downtrend says sell. My uptrend says buy. Right? So red meaning sell. Right now we're in a downtrend starting here. And then it tried to break out, but it didn't. So here's the continuation of the downtrend. Again, like two weeks, if that. Then we got like three or four days here. And then here's our continuation of our downtrend. The problem with downtrending on a stock like Alibaba is you don't know where the bottom is. So if you were to buy this, remember, it's going to bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce. So. We got one buy signal. It may not be the strongest buy signal, but it's one here. Our first buy signal is I have resistance here across this line. I felt like it was gonna pass through this first line of resistance, and here it is, right through the first line of resistance. Just like I thought. Down here is when everybody was saying that they were buying thousands, if not millions, of this stock, here they are holding it. Is running up. I'll post both of the pictures so people can understand that. Yes, this thing ran up to almost fifty percent for the day, and one day gain. Right? Is it going to run farther than that? Yes, because like I said, it's going to rebound to the two hundreds. One of the reasons why I believe it's going to rebound to the two hundreds earnings. Alibaba has not stopped making money just because the Chinese government is cracking down on how they obtain and retain that money does not mean that the stock is not more valuable later than it is now. So um, I believe that earnings are going to explode this particular stock. Am I going to buy it now again? Maybe, but I need more buying signals. I need to, I, I personally buy the 50% and I move on to the next stock. If it gives me another buy signal, I'm in. All of this RSI underneath the 50%, underneath the 50, what does that mean? Downtrend, 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 downtrend. MACD crossed over a little bit here, but not enough for me to be comfortable. So, so what happened is still in a downtrend. To me, this was solidified. The downtrend for me was around this time. I was solidified in, is this going to be uptrending or not? Once it did not crack above, it was a straight downtrend, as you can see. Here's another one. And, and this is also the reason why I'll buy a stock. Move it down a little bit. And this is the reason why I'll buy a stock and sell it after a couple of days where I'm like, 
Come on, you're really not gonna open up? Where I'll buy and I'll make my 50% off of like something like here to here. I'll make my 50% and I'll get out and everybody else is like, oh, you should have held. It's gonna go to infinity and beyond. And I'm sitting here saying, well, I made my 50%, I'm out. And then here it is dropping back down. And they're like, oh man, you had good, you got out in time. And I'm, and they're like, did you short it? Like, no, I didn't because I don't care if it goes up or down. I care if it's going to make me money. So here's our resistance here, right? So this is where we're at. So everything is pointing up at this point. This is a good stock. Resistance here, right? This was support back here and beyond. This was resistance here. So I didn't draw this here. I drew this back here. This line existed since um, earnings. So when earnings came out and it had a bad and it had bad earnings, that's when I drew this line. That line existed because of that. For no other reason did that line exist. It didn't exist prior and it doesn't exist after. It only existed here. This line being broken will run this to 200. I 100% agree that Alibaba is going to have good earnings. There's no reason why this stock should be as low. Alibaba 50% so far in one day. And I believe it's going to continue to give me even more percentage in, in more than one day. So um, look at the link below.